See, now I had heard about this before, but I wasn't sure if it was completely true. I heard about like Patrick Ricard won tight end money. Um, but I was like, uh, I don't know. Cause I, I heard somebody say it. Then I saw Patrick Ricard. I saw him tweet something about it, but I was like, he's just playing around. He's just joking and stuff. You know, Project Patty, always joking around and stuff. But Jeff pretty much confirmed it. Uh, Jimmer on Twitter had tweeted at Jeff's Rebick. He was like, with all the different names out in free agency, I haven't heard a lot about Patrick Ricard. Do the Ravens want him back? Is he interested? Is it a money issue? So he's trying to figure out what's going on with Project Pat and the Ravens. They obviously haven't come to terms on a new contract agreement. Like, what is the status? But Jeff said, yes, they do. As in, yes, the Ravens do want him back. As I've written, Ravens seem willing to make him the highest paid fullback in the league. We'll talk about that shortly. But he also said Ricard wants to be paid more like a tight end. If he gets good tight end money, he's probably going to leave. So I saw that. And I was like, oh, OK. So I guess the whole Patrick Ricard want to be paid like a tight end thing is true. Um, so a uh, couple things with that. Is Patrick Ricard a tight end? No, he, he's a fullback. Has he caught a couple passes? Yes, he certainly has. Uh, but I, I do not think that makes him a tight end. Now, I'm sort of at a crossroads with uh, Patrick Ricard and the Baltimore Ravens. Um, the reason I say that is because I feel like I, I know like the situation. You got context is everything because we've had plenty of conversations about Patrick Ricard. Like, man, he was out there. He was running routes like a wide receiver or something when Ravens had receivers sitting there on the bench. But he was also out there a lot. Uh, he was out there as an extra blocker uh, because the offensive line was a huge yikes last year. Um, so that's something to keep in mind, but I'm just a bit concerned, like how the Ravens allocate this cap space since they're so tight against the cap and whatnot. I'm very concerned on how they allocate this cap space moving forward, because if you're trying to make Pat Ricard the highest paid fullback in the league, um, it's not like fullbacks are making a crazy amount of money, but still EDC, every dollar counts, right? So if you make him the highest paid fullback in the league, you're definitely going to be using him. You're not going to make him the highest paid fullback in the league and just have him sitting on the sideline, no. But then that concerns me with the rest of the offense. We know he's a great blocking fullback. He, he is a great fullback. We get that for sure. Um, so he, he can do his thing. But my concern is with the Ravens offense and the progression of the Ravens offense. And are they really going to continue to take it up a notch this year? Now, last year when Lamar was in the games, we did see the offense. They seem to be taking a step forward in the passing game. Um, and But I think one of the biggest reasons that they were taking such a big step forward was because they were almost forced to. J.K. out. Gus out. Uh, Justice Hill out. Offensive line in shambles. So the Ravens, they could not run the ball. And since they couldn't run the ball, it was like, all right, well, we really ain't got no choice but to pass. Now, I did like it. I liked it. Now, we, of course, still want them to be able to run the ball. And we know if they got a Lamar Jackson, they got a healthy J.K. Dobbs, they got a healthy Gus, they, they are always going to be able to run the ball, as long as the offensive line is right. They are always going to be able to run the ball. But with a nice fullback, that helps make the run game that much stronger. But at the same time, what about the pass game? Now, we obviously want a, a healthy mix of both. We want a good mix of both, a good dose of both to where both can be strong because they're going to be games where one of the areas it just ain't working like that. So you want to be able to count on the other one to come through for you when you're in a pinch and it's like, hey, all right, running game ain't working, passing game, let's get it. All right, passing game ain't working, let's get it. All right, running game, take over. I mean, hopefully every game with the passing and the running game could both be working to the max, but it just, it don't work like that. But I say all that to say this, that with Pat Ricard, if Ravens are really willing to make him the highest paid tight end in the league, I mean, excuse me, whew, he got me getting confused, the highest paid fullback in the league, that worries me a little bit. That, that worries me because um, I, I feel like, now it is just one position, I get that. But I feel like that it just worries me for the direction of the offense moving forward. Now, if and I know they're not going to do this, but this is something that I would if they're going to bring Patrick Ricard back, because what I personally think is going to happen, 
I think they're going to let Patrick Ricard test the market. I mean, obviously, they ain't got no deal for him right now, so he's going to be able to test the market. But I think they'll let Pat Ricard test the market, and I don't think the market's going to be like that for him because people are just, they're not into fullbacks like that. Now, there's always somebody, but I just, I don't think the market's going to be popping for him like he may think. We'll see. I could be proven wrong, but I just do not see it happening like that. But I would like for if they, say, for instance, Patrick Carr tests the market and it ain't buzzing like he thought it would be, I would love, even though I know it's not going to happen, but I would love for the Ravens to, if, if they did bring him back, I would love for them to bring him back on a one-year deal. One-year deal. Reason I say that is because I want it to be to where nobody has any excuses whatsoever. No Lamar Jackson, no John Harbaugh, no, no excuses for anybody, but in regards to Pat, Pat Ricard coming back, no excuses for Greg Roman. Because I want Greg Roman to literally have everything that he can possibly have to make this offense the strongest that he can possibly make it to where there are no excuses, none. Because last year, I, oh, the injuries, oh, okay. But last year, you could have been like, oh, he didn't have a, a dynamic tight end two, a tight end three, whatever. Nick Boyle was hurt. Only Mark Andrews was healthy the whole year. Okay. All these guys got hurt through the offense. The offensive line got banged up. Then, of course, Lamar Jackson got, oh, okay, okay, boom, okay. All right, so let's get this offensive line right. Let's bring in another tight end that can do some stuff. Uh, let's have the receivers right. Lamar Jackson healthy. Because I just, I, I want it to where there are no excuses for anybody this year. None. None. So with Greg Roman, all right, if y'all going to bring Pat Ricard back, all right, cool. One year deal. Now, I know Ben Mason, he's on the roster right now. And Ben Mason could be that fallback option. Because see, one, one thing, like, I'm not, and this is nothing against Project Pat. Because I love Project Pat as a player. Person, he's cool, that's, and that's cool. He, I think I met him before the game. Super nice. Ravens have, when have you ever heard of the Ravens having a sorry fullback? Think about that. When have you ever heard, oh, man, that fullback for the Ravens, he sucks. He's terrible. He's bad. You don't. It's something that you never hear. You don't, when, actually, thinking about it now, when do you ever hear of a sorry fullback in the league? Oh, man, that, that fullback, he's trash. Oh, that fullback, he's sorry. Oh, he can't pick up a block. For you don't hear that. You just don't. Because people who keep, the, the teams who keep fullbacks, they always keep good ones. But just to focus on the Ravens, you think of guys like LeRon McClain? Shout out to him. Oh, man, that Dallas gang was the best. Him and McGay, he just taking over. You think of Ovi McGelly. Uh, you think of Juice. You think of Pat Ricard. You think of Lorenzo Neal. There's more, too. Right now, I can't think of them off the top of my head, but my point is, if Pat Ricard was to some, for some reason leave, in my opinion, I think the Ravens would be all right. This happened to them a couple years ago when Juice left. When Juice left, I was like, oh, man, I, want, I wanted to keep Juice. I like Juice. He was cool, man. He, he, he showed that he could be, he was like that H-back. He was like a... A fullback slash tight end slash kind of running back, but he, he could do different things. Oh, all right, cool. Let's keep him. they like, no. Then 49ers were like, hey, Juice, what's up, big head? And they got him. But then the Ravens took this defensive tackle, undrafted rookie free agent defensive tackle in Pat Ricard, and flipped him and made him a fullback. Like, see, this, this was one of those Ravens, because Ravens do a lot of experimenting. They do a whole lot of experiments. Sometimes it doesn't work, but sometimes it does. And this is one of those times where it certainly did. So they flipped an undrafted rookie free agent defensive tackle. They flipped him to a fullback, and he killed it. He did his thing. He did an amazing job. So I, I just feel like I, I, would, I would sort of question if the Ravens were to allocate all that money to the fullback position. That would be my biggest concern. Especially if they're trying to make him the highest paid fullback. I know they love Pat Ricard, right? and I get that. I understand why. But it just, it, it kind of worries me for the, the offense moving forward. And, again, let me know if you feel what I'm talking about, man. Um, but that's, that's just my concern. So, 
We'll see how it goes. Now, with him trying to get tight end money, I listen, I have zero problem with that. I am never mad at any player trying to get their bread. Never mad at that at all. Get your money. Get your bread. Because, again, NFL stands for not for long. This thing don't last forever, my friend. Get your money. Bradley Bozeman. <laughs> we are getting ready to get a notification tomorrow that Bradley Bozeman signs with whoever. And I know a lot of Raven fans are going to be heartbroken, but it's expected. I got no problem with Bradley Bozeman getting his money. Of course, we've been talking about Lamar Jackson extensively. I got no problem with him trying to get his money. No problem with it at all. Orlando Brown Jr., when he said, I'm a left tackle, I got no problem. Because, again, left tackles make more than right tackles. <laughs> he was trying to get, he tried to say, no, it's not about the money. I ain't got no problem with him trying to get his money. So, again, no problems on my end with players trying to get their bread. I get it. I understand it. And I respect it. So, Pat Ricard, you go get that tight end money. But Ravens, just be smart about this whole thing. Be smart about it. But we, we'll see how it ends up working out. But if I had to guess whether Pat Ricard stays or goes, um, I would actually think that he would stay. Based off the Ravens, based off of who they are, what they've done, their offense, I would think that he would stay. Again, I think they would let him test the market. Then I think they, they'd probably re-sign up to like a two, three-year deal. Again, what I would want would be if they signed up to a one-year deal. So, and, and the reason I say one-year deal is because, again, with Greg Roman, let's see where things are headed. And let's give it one year. Let's see what the offense is. Let's see the direction of the offense. And let's see if Greg Roman is going to remain. Because it seems like he's on the way out. The reason I say that is, because again, T. Martin and Keith, you don't bring in guys in an area where somebody's struggling at for no reason. You don't do that. Because that's the beginning of the end for somebody. And, and I've explained this too. Like if you're working at a job and you, you're really good in some areas, but you really struggle in some areas. And, and the team's like, hey, we love you. We love you. you keep, keep trying. Keep doing your thing. And you kept trying. And then you still struggle in those areas. And you've consistently throughout your career struggled in the same area. And then the team is like, mm, okay. No, you, you're not going anywhere. But you know what? We're going to bring in some guys that can sort of try to help you in these areas where you're struggling at. If they do that, that's the writing's on the wall. You might as well start filling out applications at other companies because that's the beginning of the end for you. So when they hired Keith Williams and they hired T. Mark, that was the beginning of the end for Greg Roman. So that's why I say a one-year deal. Just so you, again, no excuses for anybody. None for nobody. As long as everybody stay like healthy and stuff like that. Well, at least majority of the people stay healthy. So, anyway, we'll see what happens. Team Keep It Clean tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. Tomorrow's going to be so crazy. It is going to be so crazy. It's going to be wild. Tomorrow, free agency starts. Um, the legal tampering period, even though they need to ax that, get rid of that. Just call it free agency. Start. It's, it's starting tomorrow. Even though Wednesday is the official day. Free agency starts tomorrow. Turn your notifications on. Even though I, I know a lot of y'all going to get tired of seeing me because I'm sure it's going to be video after video after video after video after video. Because it's going to be a lot. You know, it's always crazy. Every year, free agency, always crazy. Last year, I think we expected it to be crazy. And it, start, it started off slow. It started off slow. It's like, oh, oh, that's it? Then it started banging. Then it started going, 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 going. So we'll see how tomorrow gets. Anyway, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Pat Ricard, you know, I still love you. You already know, man. Still love you. I appreciate you too. But this this just business, man. It's just business. No problem you trying to get your money. No problem with that at all. I hope whatever team you end up on, you get a nice I know I'm sure it's gonna be a raise from whatever you got paid last year. You already know it's gonna be a raise, but get your bread. Get your bread. Get your money, man. So like Pat Ricard could be when it comes to being with the Baltimore Ravens, even though I don't think he will be. We out.